Hello everybody. What I want to show you today is how to use Google Forms along with some QR codes to record accommodations. Now this is great uh, and I love using this tool because Google Forms allows me to collect some responses and, and collect some data and I like how I can use the QR codes to do it in real time. Let me show you what I do here. So here I am in Google Forms <clears throat> and I just created a simple form. Um, I keep it as simple as possible because I want teachers and myself to be able to get through this as quick as possible. But please understand you can add as much to a Google Form as you want to or as less as you want to. So this is just a brief tutorial and you can uh, personalize this the way you want to. So first, um, of course I want to have the month, day, and year. What this is going to do is timestamp everything um, that a teacher would need to input for their accommodations that are given on any assignment or task. And then I simply just make some checks box, uh, a checks box question. Um, you can't use multiple choice because I want the user to be able to check as many check boxes as they need to. So make sure that's in check boxes. And then I just started to add some accommodations, just some pretty standard ones. But like, again, like I said, you can customize this however you want to. Now the only thing I do make required is the um, is the uh, date and time and then this one of course you can make this required if you want to but uh, here we go and this is what it would look like then I can preview it here to see what the form looks like um, a nice little drop down box and put the date in there put a couple of the um, accommodations given or if the student refused accommodations you can go here and then hit your submit. Now when you go back to your um, form, you'll see that some responses are given. Now you can create this down to a spreadsheet and then you have all your data that you um, want in an easy to use form. And of course with Google um, Sheets then, you can manipulate the data, change it around, create some graphs. It's easy for the kids to see and you can share this of course with parents or other teachers. Uh, they can see uh, all the data as it's tracked in real time also. So that's why I really like using Google also. Uh, we're at Google Apps for Education School at Waverly Community Schools in Lansing, Michigan. And this can be used across the district. And then also if my parents have a Gmail account or um, the students all have accounts too, that I can share all this information in charts and graphs when we break down um, accommodations given during an IEP and when I'm using it in for behavior tasks uh, or tracking in real time like I'll show you in a video here at the end of this one. So I have it all here. I'm easy to find all or track all the data to see where it's going. But what I need to do first is go to settings and you want to make sure that limit to one response is taken off. You do not want this box checked because you want people to be able to reuse or resubmit some data throughout, including yourself, when you track all the accommodations and such. But when a teacher has this uh, behind their desk, you'll see how I do that in just a moment. But when they have it on the desk, you want to be able to give as many responses as they need to. So leave that there. And then when you share it, what you need to do is find a, uh, or create a QR code, or create a link. And I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. But to add collaborators, of course, you can go there. You can change around your sharing settings to make sure that anybody just in your domain can use it or not. Um, let me know if you need any help learning how to do that. But I just have this open to anybody who has a link. So I'm going to create the link. Oh, we can shorten that if we need to. And then Control C to copy with Google Form. Now, what I want to do with this is now create or open a QR code generator. The QR code generator, all I have to do is go here and control V. Now this is going to create a QR for me. And this QR code can be scanned with any cellular device or computer. Now you, of course you can keep your uh, uh, forms on your desktop or your laptop, your Chromebook. If you're carrying that around, you can bookmark the site so you can easily get to it. But we don't always have those devices with us, but we normally have a cell phone. And a teacher can use their cell phone or a cellular device, iPad even, um, to track accommodations real quickly using our QR code. So what I want to do is cut out this code. So control to copy this on a Chromebook is control 
a shift, control shift, and then the sliding box above the, the number six on your Chromebook. But what you want to do is copy that picture. Um, because I'm on a desktop, I'm going to cut this out using Snagit, but I need this picture. Okay, copy it. If you don't have Snagit, it's an amazing tool for teachers. I absolutely love Snagit by TechSmith. Um, look them up. And I'm using their Camtasia for this video too. Shout out to TechSmith there anyway so what i have now is my qr code and i want to open up a doc and then i'll just paste the picture in here like this now this will take me to that form this very form um, each and every time that i scan it uh, if you have a iphone you don't need a uh, qr scanner you can just use your camera open your camera take a picture of it or scan it or hover above it with your camera it'll take you right to the form. If you have an Android system, um, you can use the QR code scanner in uh, Google. If you open up your Google browser, there is a QR code um, scanner. Just tap that in your home um, space there and it'll open up a QR scanner. Scan that and or take a picture of it and it will send you right to your form. So it's pretty quick and easy to use um, throughout. So here's how I use it in my real life situation and what I'm doing with behavior tracking with my students. Take a look. What I have here is a card that I carry in my back pocket. So I open my iPhone, open up the camera, and I just scan it. You see a link is created, opens up to my form. I just input the date, input the behavior tracking. It's all in drop down little boxes that I have in this little situation. So it's real quick and easy to use. Uh, check box in the one I showed you before, but that's all just drop down boxes. That okay, now, um, so super easy to use. I use it in the classroom every day, every hour. Uh, I have other teachers that are doing it. Social workers use it. Um, speech and language pathologists use it. The teachers can use it um, to track all the data and see it in real time. Um, it's great uh, and handy to use. I absolutely love this method in collecting accommodations or for behavior tracking with the students that I'm using or I'm working with this year. Hey, I would love to help you out using QR codes to um, uh, make things easier for you in the classroom. Once you have a QR code generated or URL linked to it, you can attach videos to it, um, social skills, activities that I use with it. Um, I showed this to other schools in my job that I had last year as an educational technology consultant, and a school started using this for um, tracking of students during like their pride period. Um, when students had to go out to other classrooms, they just scanned a QR code, told where they're going, so anytime an administrator or a teacher could look at the document and see where the kid was or where they're supposed to be. Um, all that data is tracked in real time too, so it's super easy to use. Hey, I'd be glad to uh, answer any questions that you have on this. I'm easy to get a hold of. Here's my contact information. You guys all have a great day.